Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I will be discussing about black box. So, actually, uh, I am also a newcomer in this area. So, whatever knowledge I have, I will be sharing with you. So, black box uh, is an LMS software. So, uh, in the first session, Vinuman has mentioned about Moodle. So, and in uh, the second session, Vinuman was telling about Canvas. And, no, first session is about Canvas also, they were discussing. So, like Canvas and Moodle, uh, Blackboard is an LMS software, which is uh, most common used in Purdue University. So, I heard about this Blackboard uh, in last October when one of my cousin, uh, she's working at Purdue University, she asked me to learn Blackboard. So, that time I searched, but I couldn't continue. And during the lockdown time, so we had to conduct the second review presentation for the project. So, that time, uh, I thought about why can't I uh, look into this blackboard? So that time uh, I checked with blackboard and blackboard we need to pay. So blackboard has an option called code site. So code site is basically it's a free pilot thing. So whenever you are using it after one year, your colleagues can shift to the blackboard, can pay and trip. But almost all the features are available to the course. And you can upload up to 10 courses. So, uh, this is the uh, links for this session. So, you can start by registering 3 minutes task. It's very easy. So, this is the Blackboard course site website. So, go to this register. Can you see? So, go to this uh, register. So, whenever you click the register, you will be going to this thing. First, you need to give the names. Hardly 10 minutes, so the 5 minutes will be able to do the submission and you can give a college name and all. So then you will be logging into this blackboard. So we can note down this uh, login also. So blackboard.org site. So that means you will be getting a username and with your password you can log in. So you need to create your account as an instructor. Similarly, students also can create as a student. It's free. Okay. So, after registration, log in to blackboard.coursites.com. So, here, so you can see there it will be popping up with the institution page. So, here they have mentioned that like, with this COVID, many people are using this uh, blackboard. So, the advantage of using blackboard is that it is having a tool called collaborate. So, where we can do the online sessions. We can do the uh, Online recordings, it can be same. Same time, students can log in and we will have an online class also. But uh, during this COVID, they have kept the number to 10. So, maximum number of students can participate is 10. So, that is one of the programs. But if we need to add students, you need to pay. And uh, for the license, it will be 300 dollars. But you can add up to 2 3. Now, they have added uh, Microsoft Teams also into this uh, Blackboard. So, no need of using collaborate, okay. directly you can use Microsoft Teams. The only thing is you need to create a Microsoft Teams. Now, so this is the institution page. Uh, actually, uh, then there will be a personal profile page. You can upload all the data, update it. Then, the activity screen. Here you can see what all things you have done in your EM software, like your LMS software. Same way, same thing what you have done in our so, first thing we need to do is start the course. So, we need to create our own courses. So, go to the courses. So, here you can see Ultra course. You can see Ultra, Ultra. So, Blackboard gives the provision for 6 Ultra courses and 5 original courses. Actually, original course is the old, uh, old, uh, old course. So, they are updated with the Ultra. So, I, am, I will be discussing about Ultra. So, the uh, all the modules, everything is updated and it is very easy. So, you can take any course. So, they have created some courses. One course will be a sample course. It is like artificial intelligence. One sample course they have created. So, go to that course. So, I am starting like I am going with this Ultra course. So, click that Ultra course.
power. Here you can see Here we can change the name to your course. What is your course? So let it be uh, machine design. So we can keep the name. I am not taking spelling at all. Then uh, we can add students. So roster, we can see the roster on the left side. There is a details and action tab. So here we can see roster, course, groups, uh, blackboard, collaborate, attendance, all those things, books and books. And at the top, this uh, right top, you can see uh, content, calendar, discussions, grade book, messages, and analytics. So, whatever we are doing, that we will be getting the analytics data also. What all, how many students are using it, how many are participating in the discussion, all those things is available. So, if you go to the roster, we can add students. So, here the right top, you can see a plus invite students. So, just click the invite. So, you can give the students mail ID. Using form, you can directly give or you can copy the share link to the students so that they can log into this. Their, but they need to create their own uh, blackboard account. So, they, they need to register like here, register, they need to register and give them the student profile. Okay. So, after that, we can send that to the students. So they will be also able to get it. So what students will be getting is like the course on machine design. So they will be invited to a course into machine design. So after this, uh, there is an option for creating groups and all. So like uh, for our project and all, we created, we have 15 groups. So we can, whatever four students, all students are there, uh, there is uh, Custom option is there, self enrollment is there. Self enrollment means the students will be able to, it will be given some time. So, based on that, they can, uh, according to their wish, they can join some groups. So, number of groups you need to uh, give, suspect. Then, how to create the contents? So, it is same as uh, Moodle. So, here you can see a plus button. So if you create the plus, you can see that create. So create, we can give the modules, hold, you can upload a folder, in that the data can be created, documents. Uh, then uh, for users and all, you can use some external uh, learning uh, um, agencies, like they will be connecting with users and they will be creating. So directly the link can be given. So the greater, greater data will be given to the blackboard course. Directly you can use it. Then for test, Assessments, assignments, all those things can be created. So, test that advantage is that uh, here when we are using Google Classroom, uh, but when we get students are at home, there is chance of they will be moving inside. Uh, here, uh, they uh, give an option for lockdown browser backup. So, when they are having mobile, uh, two mobile are there, no, no option is there. Directly, uh, lockdown browser. Um, Lockdown browser means the old other process will be locked. So only they will be able to use it using the same browser. So when they are doing some uh, malpractices, it will be reported. So it will be directed to the lockdown browser module. So here you can see uh, it is a third agency, third party agency, you can give the option for the uh, lockdown browser. And if you are using the original blackboard, not the wired one, there is an option for the monitoring also, response monitoring. So if there is a webcam, uh, according to the eyesight and movement, uh, they can catch. So there is an option for that also. But here now they are only providing option for lockdown dashboard. Only the dashboard will be locked. And there is one more option for enable or originality report. So whenever we are asking, asking students to write some assignment, so uh, the blackboard gives an option for checking the files. They will be checking the originality, whether they can smoke it from some other or not. So, the originality report also can be created using this blackboard. So, it is also free, it is an added advantage. So, uh, and students will be getting the data like how much, how much percentage it is original. So, the blackboard also will be checked using this enable uh, uh, originality report, uh, same or same blackboard. So, then you can create the test 
and the option one of the advantage uh, here is that questions there are different types of questions in the Google uh, classroom uh, the disadvantage is that we are only using uh, Google form so no one we don't have much options so for that we need to use some of your different survey forms for getting good uh, so here we can give match the following uh, fill in the blanks many options can be given and the grading is also easy we can add the rubrics so what those and if we can map it to the whole uh, outcome center for the program outcomes all those things we can match so here you can see Add question goals, calculate formula questions, add essay question, fill in the blanks, add matching question, multiple choice, row of words. So, and you can add the topic and all those things. Different options are there. And uh, so, uh, um, the versatility is very high for this platform. And the main advantage is you can use the blue blackboard collaborate. So, this is the all day classroom platform. So, I can show the essay that we project. So here we added 15 group members that uh, group videos we added and we, can, we have created uh, multiple resources because project will be uh, managed by uh, producer and promoter. So we all three of the instructors, we can give it like that. And even the faculty can see what how the student page looks like. So we can create a uh, preview also. So we can that preview user is that how the student page will look like. So you can see that. So we have added the group leaders, so they will create a blackboard ID, so blackboard at home, so they join uh, using this thing and we can create the session. So here you can see there is a blackboard collaborate, we can see three options, right? So get the course room guesting, edit course room setting, so before starting we can go to edit course room setting. So it will be taking you to the course room. So I have created a session. So you can see SA and me project course room. So what are the settings? We can add the settings. So what students will be doing? So guess. We can make the guess. So uh, students will be 15 group members will be joining using the blackboard but the remaining students won't be having the blackboard also. but they also can present like we can do a guest link so using the guest link they can comment directly comment and we will be uh, the moderator can give them the option for presenting so they can also present using the options so what will be the whole uh, what, what are things we can do different options share audio share video uh, private chat all those things can be done then, by creating the join course, so you can keep the dates also scheduled, you can schedule the date, all those things. Then, if you join the course room, the course room will be uh, So, I am joining the course room. So, this is our blackboard for our brain. So, here we can do the online recordings also. So whenever we are doing an online recording, it will be saved in the account itself. So whenever students are not live, they can come and watch the video recordings. So that is the advantage. So the recordings will be saved there. The students can add a comment and it will be a close group. We are not posting it in the YouTube thing at all. So if somebody wants to do it personally, who uh, would want to share everything in YouTube at all, they can use this thing. So the video recordings can be saved in the blackboard collaborate session itself. So here you can see uh, different options. You can switch on the audio, video, and student can raise the hand. Here you can see uh, when the students log in, when the students log in, the moderator has the option for chatting. Then uh, the moderator can make them uh, diff different options can be given. Right? Uh, we can make them present or we can make them uh, this only be viewer, and we can make some moderator also. So that is advantage. Then, what are the contents? So, if students during the project, it is um, some project groups want to use a black, white screen and for 
they have they print the data or share the data. So for that we can use a uh, share a white white box. So there they can write. So the all those who are in the classroom, they can see, even the faculty, if he is teaching, he need to use a whiteboard or a blackboard, he can use this option. Then, if you want to share the application screen, you can share it. So the, uh, if you select the uh, enter screen of the application window, whatever is there, we can directly share it. Or we can upload the PPT or PDF. So uh, during our project, students will be uploading their PPT. So second of the presentation, so this is the presentation thing. So apparently they can upload and all those students who are joining, the most student members they are joining, they can also change the size of You can keep them to moderate this also for the percentage. Then there are different options like we can do the polling also. So whenever we are doing a class and in between if you want to do a poll, so how many of them are interested or how many understood. So we can put a direct poll to students. That is also available with the poll of right. And there are different uh, other options. So what do you want? Now after that, we can leave the session. So it will be recorded into the pure personal uh, subject thing. Then there are some options like uh, accessibility report, uh, report, Microsoft Teams and Responders. So this is what I mentioned earlier. So the Responders is a uh, third party agency which check the, uh, which check the um, malpractice in cases. And if we are doing a webcam, we can do the monitoring also. So whether they are um, doing some, uh, they are taking some of the phone and writing the exam. So we can use it as well as then Microsoft Teams. Now we are enabled Microsoft Teams. So if we are having a Microsoft account, we need to just create a Microsoft account using your MJX mailing list now with this way. So directly we can do a online class with more than 10 students. Now a collaborator already allows 10 students. So if you are using Microsoft Teams, directly you can do it with Microsoft Teams. Then accessibility report is like uh, our data will be like if you are uploading a PPT, but the student is using an uh, Apple iPad. But if our PPT is not visible to them, the accessibility issues is there. Then using this accessibility thing, uh, this is called LA. So this third party agency will be converting that into their format. So whatever is the accessible format for the student, they can upload or they can download their uh, file format. So that is another advantage and also uh, whatever, when, whenever we are uploading some PPT center, so what it is, how much it is accessible to students, we will be getting a data analytics thing and uh, about our presentation, so if we are uploading a presentation and they will be checking and telling them it is 53% accessible there, some figures are there but it is not having uh, proper writer, so they will be giving that uh, machine learning data. So these are some of the uh, advantages. And you can see the uh, student preview mode. So if you go in the student preview mode, you can see how it, the project is uh, on the classroom will be available to the student. And when we set out everything, we need to do the course is open. So actually, when you are, you can see, this is the law of the course. So when you go into the course, after you create, you add your students. If you create some groups, if you need, you can do the uh, we can create groups. This course is private, so you need to convert it into an open course. So, to open the course to allow students access, you can continue. So, if you open it to students, then the students can see it. Till that time, it will be closed one. And uh, there are options for announcements. So, uh, whenever we create some announcement, it will be coming like a pop up. So, whenever the student logs into the uh, Blackboard account, directly the pop up will be coming. So, your assignment is on this day. Uh, unit, the due date is there. So all those things data can be uh, created like an announcement. Then there is an option for discussion also. So the blackboard gives a provision for writing the discussion also. So whenever we are having a discussion with the, uh, uh, students, like we took a topic and uh, the students are, uh, we are asking them to get into the discussion. So 
whoever is coming in with good contents. So in the discussion, whoever is giving good points. So the blackboard, uh, earlier I mentioned that accessibility. So I that's a third party agency called Ale. So they will be rating uh, who, which all students are being uh, actively participating in the discussion. And we can grade them according to the rubrics. We can set the rubrics so excellent, uh, and then we can create some critical thinking, all those uh, criteria we can create, and based on that, this they will be uh, giving the uh, grading capital. So that is one of the another advantage. So discussions can be made live, so that the students will be uh, more interested at since it is a remote online course, learning course, uh, we will be able to get uh, them into the exam. So this is all about blackboard. Only uh, lockdown browser is happening. The webcam thing is not happening. Yeah, I tried it uh, not to monitor one. The lockdown portion, uh, portion I tried. Yes, sir. Uh, it is not available. It is available only for that those who universities will pay. And I am also uh, new to this, I don't know how much about all those things, but uh, the ultra course it is very easy. Like, only thing is you need to add the students to the poster. We can create groups uh, if you want, then just open it, open the course and add the guidance. So, uh, for the metrology course, just like you see. So, if you want to add, just create content, copy content. And content market is where you can add something like accessibility report, Microsoft Teams, all those things can be incorporated. If you want to have a meeting and you can use Microsoft Teams, an accessibility report with that we can see how students, what are the. So, here you can see one symbol A. So, 150, the accessibility score is medium. So, it is showing 53 percent. So, but I have just kept the figures for it. So in that figures they, need, they are asking you to put some content source. Not along, along with those figures, you can add some content. Then download after any format. So, if students want to download another format, not PPT, so they can use the tag PDF, HTML, EPUB for iPad and all. Then uh, for uh, blind, electronic braille, audio. So whatever format they want, they can download. So this are the some of the advantages. Then a discussion platform is that no grading, you can do the grading. And if you want to send some messages to some students, directly you can send it. Then add like what is the message to whom we need to send. So I tried with one student to read that. So for this metrology, so whenever I was learning, I tried to read that. So after that only I tried with the project view. So he was going to okay. So uh, we did everything with this team and analytics also can be done. Like uh, since uh, how many scored all those analytics data can be done. So just the login is like register at the uh, code size dot com. So you need to just create it with the three minutes process. Then login using Blackboard code site. Then you will be put getting in the page. Then create your course. Then do the front finishing sir. And all those uh, you can uh, see the YouTube. There is a YouTube uh, page for Blackboard. So uh, there are two, three, three minutes video, one minute video for every uh, step tools. So it is easy to learn.